barbecue kielbasa sub. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put down just a little bit of oil, because I have avocado oil. And I'm gonna start my onions and peppers. Obviously you can use whatever you want. I want these on my uh, sausage. Just right here is just a uh, kielbasa. And I got this top. It's uh, Eckerich. I just like it's one single piece. It does great for like a hot dog style. I'm going to pour these on here. Get some sizzle sizzle going. Mm. And this right here, about like everything on the channel, this is how I prefer it. You may want it a little differently. I'm just going to try to let them get a little contact here. To where they get a little bit of that... Uh, color to them where they start getting that heat getting friendly with them I want just a little bit of that charred look but not too much because uh, I want these to have a little bit of a of a snap to them like a like my kielbasa will have so I'm going to let them sit there just for a second and then we'll turn them you can kind of see them maybe on camera they're skipping around a little so got good heat popping we'll let them do their thing Put just a little bit of butter down. Work it with my spatula. Steam. Cap it. See all that steam in here with the kielbasa? Peppers and onions are coming along nicely. I don't want them too much more done than that. I'm going to turn up the heat for my kielbasa because I'm going to start to get brown on the outside a little bit now. I think the inside's heated up. It's pretty flexible. This right here. Uh, doesn't have a very thick case on so if any at all but it's still got enough to, it's got a little bit of that snap to it this right here is personal preference if you like one with a little bit more by all means go for it You can see it's starting to heat up, get a little bit more of the color to it. I don't keep letting it do its thing. And these right here, like I said, you notice I cut them a little thicker. Uh, that's just how I like it for this type of, I don't, what would you call this, a sub, a hot dog? I don't know. I mean. I, mean, I call it good either way. It's one of my favorite things. I mean, I recently paid uh, like ten dollars or more for one, probably half the size at a theme park. And don't get me wrong, it tasted good, but I mean, this right here, these are just uh, you know a few dollars uh, for these. Get you a pepper and onion. You can use them for a while, and then this right here was like. A twin pack for two dollars so uh, there's actually two another one the same size of this that comes in that package so I mean you can make you a couple and I, and I think it's going to taste better too of course but you know you get in places like that it doesn't mean the food isn't good it's just you know it's going to have that markup check your bread back here I'm going to turn it over here on the end you kind of got to be careful, it's breaking up just a little bit. But I'm going to turn it to let it heat up on the edge there. I'm 
this right here is really starting to get there where I want it. Point of getting a plate, I'm gonna go grab a plate real quick. I know I should have already had one. So these are done. Like I said, that's what I was trying to achieve a little bit. I'm going to push them off to the side. Get them off the heat so they don't overcook on me. I'm going to let this guy take a roll in the onions and peppers left over. You see I've kind of got this side a little bit more done. So I'm going to correct that by using the colder spot up here at the front and then letting this be on more of the direct heat. Use my spatulas here to kind of hold them in place. This next part part will probably shock some of y'all, but I'm gonna use a little hickory and brown sugar. This is how I like it. Barbecue sauce. About out. Not putting much anyway. Then this will let them roll around in it. If you don't like barbecue sauce, obviously skip this step because I can go ahead and tell you I'm also going to put a little mayo on my bun, which might make some of you just leave this video and unsubscribe to this channel right now. But hey, we all have our, our likes. I'll go ahead and scrape that off. It's fresh, it's the easiest time. But Bun's about fell apart. Cut it a little bit too much, but I'll work with it. Put this in the back and the middle. Give these one last heat up. I just flipped the pepper off. Up under, got a little overzealous. Gee, Griddler, you want some kielbasa with your peppers and onions, right? Turn this off. Close that up. And we'll get it on the plate and see if we can keep it together long enough to enjoy. I couldn't keep it together. It split on me, so I split it, though. So I actually ended up liking how this did. I split the kielbasa right there down the middle, grilled it up, flip it on there, and now I'm going to have more kielbasa coverage per bun bite. And that's a good thing. Let's do a cut in. See how it goes. It's a dull knife, I need to sharpen it. There 
there you go. Still nice and warm. You got the peppers and the onions and the Polska kielbasa in there. Let's try it. Mmm. This is like one of my ultimate comfort foods. Uh, I've not had a chance to add the mayo to it yet. I was wanting to get to it while it's still still hot for the video. Uh, so I'm going to keep eating on this. I think it's good. Uh, like I said, I actually, I'm going to do it this way going forward unless I have a much smaller bun. It works out really good like that, I think. Peppers and onions, really pleased with them. Uh, you know, I wish I had a little bit more barbecue sauce. That's a personal preference, like I said. Uh, if you don't like it, don't put it on there. Uh, but that's the whole thing. The fun with the kitchen, griddle, and stuff like that is making it how you want it. If you're cooking for other people, it's got enough space to do it a couple different ways. It uh, doesn't really require another pot or pan. Uh, but appreciate you taking the time to join, join me for this video. And uh, if you haven't done so yet, I'd appreciate it if you please consider to like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn on post notifications. <laughs> But until next time, this is Garrett the Griddler saying, let's keep cooking.